So can you uh, NLP or coach a narcissist? And how do you navigate if you have a narcissist in your life? How can you navigate that a little better? Okay, well, first of all, I can say get out, get the hell out. But um, so narcissists, I always like to draw a little bit from the world of psychology and positive psychology where it comes to percentages and definitions and things like that, where I think NLP based coaching is more practical in nature. So in essence, there are two kinds of narcissists. One is the grandiose narcissist. The grandiose narcissist is look at me, I am so amazing, it's very extroverted, I'm so successful, I have status. Um, there's the manipulation that we're, we're kind of, uh, is very much out in the open, very obviously there. But there is another type of narcissist, and actually that type of narcissist is much more common, I find, in, in the world, including my own work, training, my coaching office. And that's the narcissist that is actually the, the, failed, <laughs> the failed person. It's a more introverted, more covert narcissist who, who tends to say, I'm a failure. I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm ashamed of something. I have guilt. I have, I'm, look at me because I'm mistreated. Um, and so that also draws the attention, but in a negative way. Um, if you know what I mean. And so what's one easy way to kind of navigate that a little bit easier, okay? As a coach, as a person dealing with a narcissist in your environment for brief moments of time, so not, not necessarily to deal with staying in a, in a relationship that, that, that comes with narcissists. Narcissists in that, you know what, that's a whole other, <laughs> a whole other story. But one thing that both narcissists want is status. And where the grandiose narcissist already feels like they have the status, the vulnerable narcissist feels failed in obtaining the status. So use that piece of information for your own benefit. You could inflate the narcissist to build rapport with them to get them to trust you, you can inflate the, I notice your status, I know your, notice your importance, I notice your, and you meet them in that map of the world, and then you pace and lead them, or you take them to the map that you'd like to be coaching them in. So it's kind of like a way to get them to trust you, to get them on your side. It's maybe a little bit manipulative, but hey, they're, they're doing it too. The vulnerable narcissist, you also need that to meet that person in their map because they failed to get status and you give that attention and then you talk about, well, how can we give you this status anyway in coaching? How can we get you there? How can we? So that is a nugget that you can sort of like carefully navigate if you're coaching or working with or communicating with a narcissist. If you have interest, if you really need to recover from a narcissist, uh, I think NLP 16 day training is an ideal thing. Um, we give those trainings in Mexico, Bali, Miami, Los Angeles, and, and other places in the world. And it allows you to do a 16 day immersion to tackle your own behavior, to tackle your own uh, uh, ability, the way that you think, your limiting beliefs, where the installation points in your youth, all of those different things are a real great way to actually use the tools on yourself, but also being able to use the tools on other people. Okay, hi from Mexico and see you around.